indications wrong intraocular lenses damaged intraocular lenses decentered intraocular lenses lenses going wrong which is not uncommon can happen in both manual small incision cataract surgeries and phaco emulsifications unlike in msics where the incision size is proportional to the iol dimension the extraction of the lens is easy but when it comes to the 2 to 3 mm incision in phaco emulsification the explantation maneuver becomes difficult when such a situation demands only use techniques are either to extend the clear corneal incision or to create another clear corneal tunnel both of which will compromise the water tight nature of the incisions thereby requiring sutures our video series shows iol exchange without compromising tunnel integrity by means of horizontal chopping of the iol an entrapped iol due to faulty loading can lead to chipping of optic and breakage of haptic as seen in this video under viscoelastic cover iol was explanted out of the capsular bag and brought into the anterior chamber it was aligned in such a way that the haptic was brought perpendicular to the incision the iol is stabilized with the sinski's hook through the side port and cut with a vanner scissors through the main section the movement of the scissors should be very minimalistic in order to avoid damage to the desmens membrane and posterior capsule remember only the tip of the scissors should be used for cutting and not the entire length of the blade Now the hemisections are aligned in such a way that the haptic is pointing in the direction opposite to the main port held with MacPherson's forceps and delivered out. The second hemisection is aligned using Sinsi's hook so that it can be delivered in the same manner. Thus replacement foldable IOL is implanted in the bag unlike earlier techniques without extending the section. Our second video shows modified horizontal chopping of IOL. Similar to earlier case, faulty loading has led to similar damage to the optic and haptic during insertion. The entire IOL was dialed out into the anterior chamber. Dispersive viscoelastic was introduced in order to deepen the anterior chamber. Properly loaded second IOL was directly injected into the bag while holding the first IOL towards the cornea. With the exchanged IOL acting as a safeguard, horizontal chopping of the broken IOL was achieved. Each hemisection was removed in such a way that the haptic was pointed in the direction opposite to the main port as shown in the first video. Safeguard IOL within the bag prevents chance of potential complications even in the hands of novices.